I'm Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Behind the Star. Thanks, Sheriff Bradshaw. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office recently held their annual awards ceremony at the PBSO training facility in West Palm Beach. It's an opportunity to honor those who protect and serve the citizens of Palm Beach County. The highlight of this year's PBSO annual awards was this young hero, Carter Santelmo. The seven-year-old jumped into the family pool to save his brother. On April 4th of this year, the Santelmo family from New York was vacationing with family and lover at home, enjoying a leisurely day at a condo swimming pool until a crisis occurred in the span of just two minutes. Four-year-old Maxwell, who was unable to swim unassisted, was wearing a flotation swim vest. At some point, Maxwell got out of the pool, unzipped his swim vest, and jumped back into the water, ending up under the surface. Maxwell's older brother, seven-year-old Carter, who was wearing goggles, saw his brother was in trouble, swam to him, and pulled Maxwell up out of the water and called for help. Maxwell's hand then performed CPR on Maxwell until the boy regained consciousness. He was treated and released to the hospital with no permanent injury. His decisive action in an emergency situation averted a family tragedy in hours. Carter Race American War. Let's give it up for Carter. My brother, little brother from drowning. Yes. I took my vest off and then I jumped into the deep end and then and then he he and then he and then he called for help. I jumped in, and sw swam and took him to the water and then I called for help. Yeah, and they bring me to my mom. Um, um he, he's going to keep it forever. Probably gonna frame it. I think, I think he's going to put it in his room. We also want to congratulate Cindy Lopez, our Civilian of the Month. As the Palm Beach County Crime Stoppers Coordinator, she handles all administrative duties associated with managing the program. Great job. And we recognize the individuals posing with Sheriff Bradshaw on their 25 years of excellence and their commitment to PBSO. We're extremely proud of Captain Randy Foley. He recently received some well-deserved recognition from the FBI and Secret Service for his work with the Behavior Services Division. The Behavioral Sciences Division is bigger and better than it's ever has been. Um, and, uh, in today's environment, it's uh, a vital part of what we do in the agency. So having said that, I'll turn it over to FBI. Thanks, Sheriff. Captain Foley. On behalf of FBI Director Christopher Ray, I just want to say thank you. I want to present you the Certificate of Appreciation for your exceptional service and public's interest for your leadership of the Target Violence Unit. Thank you for your partnership with the FBI. Thank you. Do you want to say a couple words on it? Well, it's a, definitely an honor to get this, but all the work came from the troops on the ground that are out there working continuously to make sure the community is safe and with the support of the executive staff of the Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. So thank you very much. Thank you to Captain Larry Poston for representing PBSO at the U.S. Department of State Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs Breakfast. Our agency was recognized with a Certificate of Appreciation for helping fight crime and taking illegal drugs off the streets. PBSO's future is looking bright thanks to our field training officers unit. 
This team trains new hires. They make sure our recruits are fully prepared and equipped to keep everyone in Palm Beach County safe. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw kicked off this year's Public Safety Expo with insightful remarks on crime prevention. Together, let's prioritize safety and build stronger communities. I just want to say hi for a minute and let you know how important this is to, to listen to this and hear it. But the most important aspect and people in crime prevention is you because I can't do anything about something that I don't know about. That's why the program that we have of if you know something, say something, is so important and for us to put on seminars and training programs <laughs> for people to say, I recognize what's going on because I saw it. It's just like the thing that just happened in Maine. And we've seen instances around here where after it's over with, people go, well, I knew that was going to happen. Well, if you knew it was going to happen, why didn't you tell somebody? Right. Usually it's because they're afraid, they don't know who to contact, they're not sure about it, it's a family member. I get all that. But we can stop things from happening ahead of time and prevent them if people talk to us. Buckle up, Palm Beach County. We're on a mission to make sure everyone is wearing their seatbelts. Safety first, and you've been warned. In our community, we need to have a serious talk with our teen drivers about driving safely. We encourage all drivers, and especially our new drivers, to slow down, put the phone down, and buckle up. According to Florida Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, there were nearly 3,000 crashes involving school buses in 2022 alone. Every one of these accidents could have been prevented. Let's prioritize the safety of our children. We're here today to try and educate the public on when to and when they don't have to stop for a stopped school bus. A car has to stop when a bus stops and the car is traveling in the same direction. No matter what circumstances, all vehicles traveling in the same direction of the bus have to stop. The only time a car does not have to stop is when there is a raised median separating the roadway. The National Board of Education did a traffic study with their buses and on one day in the entire state of Florida they had approximately 21,000 violations. Now if you take an account for a 180 plus school year calendar that's close to 3.7 million violations in the entire year. Did you know that one in three women and one in four men have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner? If you or someone you know needs help, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. That's 1-800-799-7233. In response to the recent shooting in Maine, Sheriff Rick Bradshaw wanted to emphasize PBSO's proactive measures to ensure community safety. The difference in a lot of states other than Florida is Florida has the red flag law. Now, if you don't know what that is, it means if we come in contact with somebody that we believe is a danger to themselves or the community and they have firearms, we can seize them. Now, this isn't an excuse just to take people's guns away like somebody would say. It's a chance for us to have dangerous people that have mental issues not be armed anymore. In a show of solidarity with the people of Israel, PBSO sent over necessary protective gear, including vests and helmets. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone during this very tragic time. Good evening. Hi, good evening. My name is Asaf. I'm a soldier in the Israeli army. And I want to say thank you to Palm Beach uh, Sheriff Office for the vest and the helmets that you sent us. I'm telling you, it's going to save life. It is with great sadness that we announce the sudden passing of Deputy Sheriff Constantine Miklia. Deputy Miklia began his law enforcement career in 1996. 
He worked road patrol in District 14 before coming to court services. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family during this very difficult time. Our deepest condolences to Delray Beach Fire Rescue for the loss of Lieutenant Ray Keith, a true hero who battled cancer with courage for two years. May his family find strength during this difficult time. We're deeply saddened by the loss of our little angel, Deputy Sheriff Callie Franklin. Meeting this beautiful little angel and being there throughout her journey has been a profound privilege. Our deepest condolences go out to the family on behalf of the entire agency. May she rest in peace. How did this happen? What if he really didn't mean it? I'm sorry. I don't even have money. Where am I gonna go? What will people say? I'm so stupid. (sighs) My family loves him. Shut up! What about my son? Do not take my son away from me. You know I do this because I love him. I shouldn't have fallen. But nobody knows. I'm just trying to protect him. Was it my fault? Where am I gonna go? Why did you get me so mad? He's always gonna find me. Where are you going to go? Who else will love me? You can never leave me. I shouldn't have gotten gotten him him mad. I'm so stupid. It's my fault. It's my fault. I don't know what to do. I have have no one else. Who do I tell? I'll kill myself. Who do I tell? I'll find Find you. I need to get out of this. I need to get out. Welcome back to Behind the Star. Congratulations to our new class of therapy dogs. Eight furry graduates are now certified and ready to spread comfort and joy throughout Palm Beach County. Good morning. I'm Corporal Feynman with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. And what you witnessed today was a graduation after a 40-hour certification block of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Paws and Stripes College. What was different from the last time, if you're following us on social media, is that this time we actually had our trustees from the Corrections Department, three of them certified this morning after having a significant number of hours to get them in the Train the Trainer program. The Sheriff presented our three trustees with their certifications and these are gentlemen that have maybe suffered some life challenges and ended up in the Corrections Department and they volunteered to come out and learn the Train the Trainer process. So you saw several different agencies, progressive departments that realized the importance and significance of mental health. And these programs and these departments are picking up on the therapy dogs. So we had four different agencies that were present today that graduated and certified with their dogs that are gonna now deploy their dogs in the communities for different things. If you're following us and you see us on social media, you'll see a lot of the media presence that we are involved in parades, maybe school events, read-along programs, but behind the scenes there are a significant number of victims of violent crimes that are witnesses that we deploy the dogs for and give them an opportunity to spend some time with the dog, to de-escalate their blood pressure, focus more on the questions that are coming from the detectives and be able to talk about those violent crimes with the aid and assistance of our therapy dogs. So the graduation today, again, we just deployed four dogs for four different agencies and we're including another dog here at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. We are so pleased about this. Thank you, Sheriff Bradshaw and our progressive command staff for everything they've done in allowing us to get the program to where we are today. And now, a look into our PBSO therapy dog training classes. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Rachel Reeve with Delray Beach Police Department. This is Awen. He's an eight-year-old standard poodle. We are at the... Palm Beach International Airport and we are here to acclimate all the dogs. We have a variety of different dogs here today and um, we've been at the mall, we're here to acclimate them to all the the busy people, all the different um, environments that are here, the luggage rolling, all that stuff, the escalators, the elevators, so that these dogs can be pretty much anywhere and they're not scared and they're willing to go up to people, people can pet them. The whole point of this program in the Delray Beach Police Department is to bring them into victims and let them uh, really integrate with the victims, but we also have a wellness program for the officers, so if the officers go through a traumatic experience, we can also use them for that as well. 
We're here all week and we're doing training all week and we all graduate on Friday. I'm a trainer with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Therapy Dog Unit. And today we're here at Tropical Smoothie in beautiful Loxahatchee Groves, Florida. Today is the first day of our academy and we're gonna be doing some training with the dogs, exposing them. And as you see, as the dogs are coming up, they're gonna be going into the store. As you can see, we use different types of dogs, all different breeds, small dogs, big dogs. And this is just a good exposure for them. This is the first day of the school. This is the second Palm uh, Paws and Stripes Academy South that we are doing. And we'll go inside, we'll see how the dogs interact. And this is a good exposure for the dogs because the smell of the food, there's a lot of distractions here. But you can see all the dogs are staying with their handlers and doing their job. And that's what they do. The graduation is this Friday, so we got four more days of training. How much of an impact do therapy dogs make? Here's Deputy Boyle from the town of Ocean Ridge Police Department sharing her story. Hello, I'm Officer Boyle with Ocean Ridge Police Department and today I'm training with my dog Dash. Dash came to me approximately three years ago after I had a traumatic loss, actually two losses in my family. I lost two of my grandbabies. So Dash has helped me every day through my emotional depression and seeing how he's helped me, I want to be able to give back to the community. And there's a lot of residents in our town that they live by themselves and Dash goes with me and we check on them and to see the smiles that he brings to their faces and brightens their day makes this even more special. Today we're at Palm Beach International and we are acclimating the dogs with the different sounds and socializing them with people as they're coming through the airport. We are training all week with Palm Beach County Sheriff's Department and Friday we will be graduating all the dogs that are in the class. And Lake Worth deputies joined the Bark Back Benefit Show at Bryant Park to support adorable pups in finding their forever homes. Canine partners were showcased on the runway, available for adoption. I'm Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. Push button ignitions are becoming a popular feature with drivers. These systems may be convenient, but they can also be a killer. There have been over a dozen deaths nationally, and it appears that this number is on the rise. Palm Beach County is not immune to this tragedy. In 2012, a couple lost their lives from carbon monoxide flooding their home as a result of accidentally leaving their car running in their garage. Always check your vehicle to make sure the engine is not running when you leave your car. To help you remember, we've created this reminder to turn off your car. Remember, we are always here to keep you safe. And now, some news and notes from around the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. PBSO showed their support for breast cancer awareness during a breakfast at the Gun Club Cafe. We want to thank everyone for supporting our efforts and signing our rolling Memorial Pink Patrol car. Alina Forrester, a 28-year-old teacher at Barton Elementary School, was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in August of 2022. One year later, she has successfully completed her treatments and is looking forward to this second chance of life and completing her master's in child psychology. PBSO surprised Alina with a visit from our pink patrol car. Name? 
This is what we're all about, serving and protecting the citizens of Palm Beach County. PBSO would like to thank the organization Restoration Bridge International for their work in our community. And we worked with Restoration Bridge International to help a single mom and her three children. Moved by their situation, we jumped into action to provide clothes for the children and food for the family. We wish this family lots of strength and resilience during these moments of adversity. And we also want to thank the Kings Point community. Their generosity and support during a recent golf fundraiser raised $40,000 for the PBSO Families First Fund. This effort helps our PBSO employees and their families during times of crisis. Our policing deputies came across a single father and his two kids facing homelessness. So we worked together with community resources to ensure they found a place to call home. To brighten their journey, our deputies surprised the kids with new clothes, shoes, and school supplies, generously donated by our community partner, The Giving Closet Project. And we recently participated in Global Hand Washing Day, which emphasizes the importance of frequent hand washing to prevent diseases and save lives. Sheriff Bradshaw and PBSO Agency Support Services joined the cause by donating over 3,000 bottles of hand sanitizer to local schools. Join us in congratulating our recent Deputy of the Month, Deputy Fabrice Reed. His dedication shines through in calls for service and self-initiated activities. Thank you to Deputy Reed for his commitment to keeping our community safe. We want to thank Meisner Country Club for hosting a day of appreciation and thankfulness dedicated to our incredible first responders. We appreciate the support. Did you know dispatchers handle an average of 240 million 911 calls annually in the United States? Our trainees are ready to make a difference. Join us in congratulating our newest communication trainees on their academic classroom graduation. We want to give a shout out to all the pediatric nurses during Pediatric Nurses Appreciation Week. We teamed up with Little Smiles Incorporated to deliver meals to the nurses at Palms West Hospital. We thank these talented professionals for their commitment to take care of children. PBSO welcomed another Walmart into the neighborhood near Lantana Road and Jog Road. We look forward to serving and protecting the community in this area. Our deputies are participating in No Shave November. Many employees are growing their beards all month long. This effort helps raise funds for the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Foundation. Beware of the latest scam involving imposters posing as deputies from PBSO, falsely accusing individuals of missing federal jury duty and threatening arrest. The scammers demand payment in gift cards or threaten jail. Do not fall prey to this scam. PBSO deputies got into the Halloween spirit. Check out this deputy in a gorilla mask on the job looking for speeders. And some of our deputies were not driving vehicles or motorcycles on Halloween. They were on the lookout for mischief in Lake Worth Beach using some cutting-edge levitation sticks, ready to tackle any spooky disturbance from high above. Check out this little imposter who really looked the part on Halloween. Falsely impersonating an officer is a third-degree felony, but we're letting it slide for this special occasion. Did you know more child pedestrians have been killed by cars on Halloween than any other day? That's why our deputies made it a priority this Halloween to take care of our trick-or-treaters. We worked hard to keep an eye on motorists to ensure they were driving cautiously and keeping an eye out for little ghosts and goblins. We thank the Village of Palm Springs for including us in their panel discussion for the proposed Hispanic Cultural Resources Community Center. To represent our agency was Colonel Tony Arajo and Deputy Maldonado. 
Sheriff Rick Bradshaw and other community leaders were acknowledged at the City of Bell Glade's Fall Luncheon for their partnership and support of various programs. A special thanks to Bell Glade Mayor Steve Wilson, South Bay Mayor Joe Kyles, and Pahokee Vice Mayor Clara Tasha Mervin for being there to present the plaque. To celebrate National Mentoring Day, Sheriff Bradshaw made it a priority to recognize the importance of mentorship and the support of various mentoring programs across Palm Beach County. A big thank you to Palm Beach County Schools for welcoming our deputies on campus. Thank you to everyone who joined us for Night Out Against Crime at Glades Pioneer Park. Our deputies had a blast connecting with the kids and the community. PBSO had the pleasure of participating in this year's Read for the Record. This national program was coordinated through the Literacy Coalition of Palm Beach County and Highland Elementary School. We loved reading to 40 enthusiastic students about the importance of preserving their culture. Our thoughts are still with our brothers and sisters in Taylor County after Hurricane Idalia. Residents in that community are appreciative of the efforts of our entire PBSO Emergency Field Force. Currently on deployment in Taylor County. We're here after the Hurricane Idalia struck this area on a mission that we've accepted to conduct law enforcement operations within the Taylor County jurisdiction and also the city of Perry. It struck Taylor County and some surrounding counties, caused significant damage to homes, roadways, people's lives were changed. I'm Lynn Amburn. I used to live on this empty lot behind me and Hurricane Ida came through and moved my house to a new address. Lord, we place these deputies and responders under your divine protection. We met on Tuesday morning at 0500 hours. They are in need of Palm Beach County's assistance. To travel up to Taylor County in a caravan. Unpin it, slide the leg out till it locks. And then once we made it to Taylor County, we set up our base camp at the Taylor County Sports Complex where we pretty much made our home for the following week. Now, back to you, Sheriff Bradshaw. Okay, that'll do it for this episode of Behind the Star. On behalf of the men and women of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, thank you for watching.